down! <laughs> Fucking sniper. Did you see where it came from? Somewhere down the street. Right now. Y'all stay here. No! Before you start, I need you guys to keep him busy. I'm gonna go around and see if I can't get the angle on him. Okay. Hey. Be careful. Ah, oh, there you are! behind that car!
Meet your curse, man! I still fucking see you! Show those cute faces again!
was intense. You all right, Sam? Yeah, I'm okay. Thanks, Joel. Look at this. <sighs> all right. We did it. We should move. All right. Sam! <laughs> Sam, are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. You sure? I said I'm fine. Come on, come on! Let's move! Anybody hurt? Uh-uh. No, we're good. God, I think it's time we quit this place. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> Shut the hell up. Dead serious. It was Tommy's birthday, and that's all he wanted to do is just rent two Harleys and drive cross country. I could die happy if I could just ride one around the block. <laughs> what was it like? It was good. It was real good. Good? C can you believe this guy? Come on, man, give me details. Describe it. <laughs> you know what? You two deserve a little privacy. No, no, Ellie, Ellie. This isn't just any regular motorcycle, OK? You get on that bad boy, you feel that engine? Nothing like it. Oh, yeah, how would you know? Seen it in my dreams. <laughs> okay. I don't think anyone from my group is going to show up. Yeah. Worst part about it all, explaining it to Sam. Well, it's safe to say those two have officially bonded. What are you doing? Taking stock of all the food we found today. I see. And how are we doing on canned peaches? Did Henry send you? No. Why would Henry send me? To make sure I'm not fucking up somehow. I'd say we all did pretty good back there, especially you. Is everything all right? Yeah, everything's fine. Okay. Well, have a good night. How is it that you're never scared? Who says that I'm not? What are you scared of? Uh, let's see. Scorpions are pretty creepy. Uh, being by myself. I'm scared of ending up alone. What about you? Those things out there. What if the people are still inside? What if they're trapped in there without any control of their body? I'm scared of that happening to me. Okay. First of all, we're a team now. Okay, we're gonna help each other out. And second, 
They might still look like people, but that person is not in there anymore. Henry says that they've moved on, that they're with their families, like in heaven. Do you think that's true? I go back and forth. I mean, I'd like to believe it. But you don't. I guess not. Yeah, me neither. Oh, all the serious talk, I almost forgot. There, if he doesn't know about it, he can't take it away. All right, I'm pooped. I'll see you tomorrow. That smells good. Good morning. Where's Sam? I let him sleep in for once. Oh. Well, if you want him to join us, you can go wake his ass up. Okay. Sam? <laughs> Sam! <What> the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Shit, he's turning! That's my fucking brother! Screw it! Shit! Really? Gotta get you right. Oh my god. Sam? Oh no. Sam? Henry? Henry, stay here. Henry? What did he do? I'm gonna get that gun from me, okay? Oh, okay, okay, easy. This is your fault. This is nobody's fault, Henry. It's all your fault! Henry! Henry, no! Close to Jackson City, right? Should be more than a few miles. You ready to see dear old brother? I'm just ready to get there. You nervous? I don't know what I'm feeling. for this road. You just follow the river. It'll lead us straight to Tommy's. Come on. <laughs> what happened between you two? What do you mean? You and Tommy. You're not together, so clearly something went down. We just had a bit of a disagreement, that's all. Ah, oh, here we go. <laughs> so what was it about? Tommy saw the world one way, I saw it the other. And that's why he joined the Fireflies. <laughs> yeah, your friend Marlene promised him hope. That kept him busy for a while, but just like Tommy, he eventually quit that too. How was it the last time you saw him? I believe his last words to me were, I don't ever want to see your goddamn face again. Us? I suppose we're gonna find out. Well, if they're without his help, we'll get there. 
Let's just get going. There's a hydroelectric power plant. Uh, a hydro who? It, uh, it uses the river's movement and uh, turns it into electricity. Let's do that. Look, I know what it is. I don't know how it does it. All right. How are we doing this up? I'll find something. Just hang tight. I need you to... I know. Step on the fucking pallet. Oh, give it a spin. But be careful crossing that thing. I will. Teamwork. I know, I am too. All right, next to I see food with food. Let's get past this place, then we can scrounge up some food. Well, if I starve, you're responsible. Head in? Uh, ain't no way around. Gonna have to cut through the plant.
Stupid robot on his grave. What should I do with it? Um, what? I want to talk about it. No. Why not? How many times do we need to go over this? Things happen and we move on. It's just. That's enough. All right. I'm sorry. Let's get the Tommies. Don't even think about reaching for your weapon. Tell the girl to drop hers now. Ellie, do as the lady says. Hey, please tell me you're lost. Oh, we didn't know the place was occupied. We're just trying to make our way through. Through to where? They're all right. But you know these people? I know him. He's my goddamn brother. Tommy. Holy shit. What are you doing, baby brother? God damn. Yeah. Let me look at you. You get fucking old. Easy. It's gonna happen to you, too. This is Maria. Be nice to her. She sort of runs things around here. Ma'am, thanks for not blowing my head off. Would have been embarrassing, considering you're my brother-in-law. We all gotta get wrangled up at some point. Um, Ellie, right? Yeah. What brings you through here? Uh... That's kind of a long story. Why don't we bring him inside? Yeah. You hungry? Starving. We've been dealing with raids. A lot of bandits in this area. It's been quiet for a few days. What the hell are you doing here? I thought I'd find you in Jackson. Been trying to bring the plant back to life. We had it working before, but one of the turbines went south. We have electricity, Joel. I had. We'll get her running again. No way. You guys have horses. We got a whole lot of them. Hey, Tommy, give me a hand with this. Sorry, I'll be right back. Can I? Yeah, of course. He likes when you pet his ears. You ever ride one? I actually have. When have you ridden a horse? Uh, Winston, this soldier back in the zone, he gave me lessons. You know, if you want, we can take him riding later. That'd be awesome. There. Hey, thanks, Tommy. No sweat. All right, let's continue the tour. Earl? Yeah? Why are you here? Weren't you supposed to head back this morning? Still waiting on Hauser and the rest of the boys to relieve me. Oh, no. You know, we'll be fine. Just go home to your family. It's just a couple more hours. I'll tough it out. All right. Look, take it easy.
Maria. Yeah, go ahead. We're in the control room. Steve's about to start it back up. You want to come check it out? I'd rather eat with Ellie. It's my turn anyway. I'll go. I'll come with you. Go with Maria. It's including Joel. Come on, Ellie. Let's give the boy some space. I'm sending Tommy over. Stand by. This will be the sixth time of them trying to get the turbines back online. We've been here just a week, and it feels like forever. Uh, I got something for you. Last year I went back to Texas, back home. Most of our stuff is long gone, most of it. Here. It's a little faded, but it still looks pretty good. I'm good. You sure? I mean... I said I'm good. Okay. I'll hold on to it for you. Tommy, I... I need to talk to you. Privately. Yeah. Okay. Let me just check on my guys real quick. Come on. I don't know what you heard, but you should see the town. We're over 20 families strong now. It was Maria and her father. They set up this place with the idea of being self-sustained. We had crops and livestock. Remember how we thought no one could live like this anymore? We're doing it. What do you do for protection? The adults take turns guarding the perimeter. We even got an electrified fence when we plant it. You still got to deal with infected though, right? Who doesn't? But it's the world we live in. Or maybe you don't have to be. <laughs> you sound like Marlene. These two geniuses are gonna bring this plant back to life. We think we got it this time. <laughs> You don't believe us? I didn't say that. I'll bet you a million bucks it works. Sure. Make it two. Uh, we're almost ready. They just need to finish putting the shield back on. No rush. To the left. Watch it. Okay, that's good. Slowly. Slowly. Tommy's here. We good to go? Ready to go. Ready? Go ahead. Hit it. Here we go. Two million bucks. <laughs> All right, Joe. Let's go tell him. It's quite the crew you got here. Yeah, they're good men. This place gives them a second chance. Gives us all a second chance. So why'd you leave Boston? I've been on quite the adventure, little brother. I reckon it's got something to do with that girl. <laughs> it's got everything to do with that little girl. Well, go on then. She's immune. Immune to what? Oh, come her, on. I know, I've seen her breathe enough spores to take down a dozen men. And 
nothing. Now, I wouldn't have believed it neither, but I can show you. All right. I'll bite. Why bring her here? I was supposed to deliver to the Fireflies. The way I figure they're your boys. <laughs> you finish the job, you collect the whole damn payment. I haven't seen a Firefly in years. But you know where they are. Now, I'm not asking for much, Tommy. I just want some simple gear, enough to set me on my way. What makes you think I'd do this for you? This isn't for me, Tommy. This is for your damn cause. My cause is my family now. You ain't talking about some walk in the park here. Jesus, boy. Have Maria get some of your born-again friends to do it. They got I... families, too. Tommy, I need this. You want some gear? Sure. But I ain't taking that girl off your hands. This is how you gonna repay me, huh? Repay you? For all those goddamn years I took care of us. Took care? That's what you call it? I got nothing but nightmares from those years. You survived because of me! It wasn't worth it. I bring you the cure from mankind, and you wanna play the pissy little brother? We ain't back in Boston. You lay your hands on me again, it won't end well for you. The hell is that? We're under attack. You still remember how to kill, right? Yeah. Shit! Bandit! Stop him! Don't let him into the building!
Let's go! That's all those sons of bitches! We gotta get to the girls! Right behind you. Joe, do your thing. You okay? Yeah, 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 I'm fine. Joel! Oh, man. They were coming in from every direction, then Maria was like, we gotta run, and so we dove over these tables, and this huge guy blasted with a shotgun. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Listen, then... hey, hey, are you hurt? No. God damn it. I need to talk to you. Absolutely not. You tell him to go find somebody else. Maria, I can't have this hanging over my head. Do you have any idea how many men we lost here today? Hey, what's that all about? Does that have anything to do with me? We'll talk about it later. Did he tell you where the lab is? No, we'll talk about it later. Later. Right. It takes one fuck up. One fuck up and then I turn into one of those widows, okay? I have to do this. I don't know what else to say. Fine. Maria. Here we go. You. If anything, anything at all happens to him, it's on you. She's thankful, you know. Yeah, I know. I'll take that girl of yours to the Fireflies. You don't have to worry about it. It's best this way. Well, maybe some real good will come of this. I need to talk to Ellie. Say again, I didn't hear you. Joe! What, what is it? That girl of yours. She took one of our horses and rode off. Damn it. Which way? Come on. Mm -hmm.